Teaching face to face and teaching online, they share a lot in common, but there are a number of differences. I would like to start by saying that good teaching is good teaching, no matter if it occurs in a face to face environment like a classroom or in an electronic environment, a virtual learning environment. A good teacher is someone who plans, has a learning design, a well designed session, learning outcomes ideally a passion and an enthusiasm about the area. When now it moves to online teaching, we have a distinct advantage, which is the fact that the system themselves, for example a virtual learning environment, a discussion forum, they lend themselves well with the idea of social learning. So the teachers, they have now the option to become a fellow learner to move away from this didactic approach that they are used perhaps in an amphitheater or in a classroom. And also, they have the advantage of this time delay, as, as we call it, the asynchronicity, so they can actually read carefully and try to customize and personalize learning for their own uh, students and learners. So yes, there are differences, but these differences are for the advantage of the learner and of the teacher. But the teacher, they should be prepared to exercise this kind of advantage. They should be able to understand the medium, to understand the way that interaction helps, and also the willingness to shift away from being the teacher. I have been an online tutor for more than six or seven years now. And it is an activity that I find always challenging, but also extremely enjoyable and satisfying. I would like to start by saying that the most important thing about online tutoring is actually the fact that it is not teaching. So someone who goes online in the role of the online tutor will be online to welcome learners, to encourage them, to motivate them, as Jilly Salmon and other people suggested to monitor their progress, to ensure that the learners are working at the right pace, to give information, elaborate, clarify, give feedback where appropriate, ensure that some progress is happening, in a way facilitate the learning community. But all this are not happening in a didactic way, but in a collegial way. And that's perhaps the key thing about online tutoring, that we are there as colleagues someone who trusts the learners, someone who is becoming to become a critical friend of the learner and in a way takes satisfaction by seeing their own progress. Having said that, many times this whole task fails or collapses and in that case we should be also there to help the learners save them if you want to rescue them at the last minute. So it is a very interesting activity and the fact that it happens most of the times in an environment like a virtual learning environment where we have the time to critically think before we react, that saves us a lot of trouble but also makes the experience much more worthwhile. I would like to offer now some advice to teachers and academics who are thinking of moving online to support their own learners. The best way perhaps to offer this advice
I would like you now to reflect on what you just heard about online tutoring in moderation online facilitation and consider this question what sort of personal and professional development you would ideally like to receive to have in order to best prepare yourselves to become online tutors.